There's a new Double Dragon game coming and my god, am I excited. They've even made Marion sexy again by sticking her in a dress. How cool is that? So let's break down everything there is to know about this game so far. The Double Dragon series is famed for being the granddaddy of co-op beat-em-ups. The success of the first two titles, created in 1987 and 1988 by Technos Japan, would inspire all future brawlers as we know them. Martial arts brothers Billy Lee and Jimmy Lee would fight their way through various levels of enemy gangs to rescue Billy's girlfriend Marion. Fighting off waves of enemies using punches, kicks and various weapons that can be picked up along the way, this cooperative experience spawned an entire genre. Street punks, knife wielding thugs and even larger boss characters would all become staples of these kind of games, and special moves and combos kept Double Dragon playthroughs consistently entertaining. Now, 36 years removed from the original, what will the next entry be bringing us? According to the game's Steam description, it says, Prepare to throw down the Double Dragon way in this fresh addition to the iconic beat-em-up franchise. It's the year 1999X, and nuclear war has devastated New York City, leaving its citizens to fight for survival as riots and crime engulf the streets. The city has been overtaken by criminal gangs who terrorise its ruins as they fight for total dominance. Unwilling to endure these conditions any longer, young Billy and Jimmy Lee take it upon themselves to drive the gangs out of their city. Explore the early beginnings of the young Double Dragon brothers as they take on both new and familiar enemies in this alternate story. In this fresh rogue light take, every playthrough is a brand new chance at new action. Featuring a unique and dynamic level structure, the difficulty of the missions you take on will change depending on the order you have selected them. Tag in and out as the classic duo Billy and Jimmy, switch it up with Marion and Uncle Mattin, or experiment with nine additional unlockable characters, each with their own special moves and unique play styles. With two-player local co-op, the action quadruples as you and a friend clean up on the mean streets. Wow. So building on that, the game promises multiple key features, including tag team action, where you can choose two fighters and seamlessly switch between them, giving you a multitude of strategies for devastating combos, defensive and offensive moves. So that's nice to hear. It also promises to be a beat-em-up with rogue light elements as opposed to rogue like, which is a term a lot of people on the internet use. So for clarity, let's break down the difference between the two. Both rogue likes and rogue lights can be thought of as sensibilities. Both share a set of three core mechanics: random levels, character progression, and permadeath. But rogue lights have meta progression and rogue lights don't. When you die in a rogue light game, you take something with you into the next run. That might be experience points that make you stronger, unlocking new items to find in the dungeon, upgrades, experience points, etc. Building on all of this fun, the game also promises to bring 13 playable characters to the table. Four you will be able to play as instantly, then a further nine who shall be unlockable. As for the four weaker players, we have good old Bimmy and Jimmy, as one would expect. Um, we have old school Finn, dress wearing Marion, which is also nice, but now she has a f***ing gun as well, which is very cool, I must say, because she can actually defend herself adequately against the thugs and um, the hive of scum and villainy within the Double Dragon universe. Uh, further to that as well, there is a new character in the game known as Uncle Mattin. Uh, after doing a little bit of research and refreshing, if you look at the original 1987 version of Double Dragon, as uh, Bimmy and Jimmy exit uh, the garage in the game, you will see the word Matin uh, wrote above it. Um, until now, it's always been rather cryptic what um, Matin actually means. Um, was it a mistranslation? Perhaps it meant nothing. They have created meaning for the word Matin, and apparently um, it is a garage owned by a character known as Uncle Matin, who is now playable within the game, which is nice. So with regards to the roster of playable characters in this game, you start to fight with Billy, Jimmy, Marion, and good old Uncle Matin. Um, each tokens along the way to unlock a diverse roster of nine more characters, each with their own playstyle and strengths. 
Strategically, you get to choose your fighting duo by taking into account each character's strengths and weaknesses. This, in theory, means that every time you choose to play as a different combination of characters, you're essentially going to be playing like a different game. That's really, really awesome. So hopefully we can expect a vast amount of replayability from all of this. No playthrough of this beat-em-up will hopefully ever be the same. Thankfully for old school beat-em-up fans, local co-op is also promised. So we can grab a friend and clean up the city streets together in local co-op mode that supports up to two players. Absolutely lovely. Now here's some additional information which I found particularly interesting. It's got a new publisher and new developer, as I mentioned earlier. The publisher is a branch of a company known as Maximum, who are behind publishing the likes of the Farm Simulator series and the Five Nights at Freddy's games. They have hired another company known as Secret Base, who are based um, in Singapore, who will be developing the game. And now what's particularly interesting about this is that they've already created a fairly popular beat-em-up in the past with rogue light elements known as Streets of Red. Everything I have read up on this game so far um, seems to be pretty good. Lots of 7 out of 10s, 8 out of 10s from the mainstream review scores and I would highly um, like to try that one out for myself. Ah, oh, highly. that was really bad use of English there. I'm sure some utter sad moron watching this will enjoy picking that apart. Now, this whole thing to me is particularly exciting, as not only are we getting an all-new rebooted Double Dragon, um, but the foundations that have already been laid down via Streets of Red in the past make this game look particularly promising indeed, with a lot of strong potential to deliver something special. Could we be on the verge of the greatest Double Dragon game of all time? Will this be another entry that will be celebrated as part of this beating them up renaissance period that we are all currently living through? I would like to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. For those who are interested, I've actually already covered every Double Dragon game that has been released in the past on this channel, and even released a super long, I believe three and a half hour long retrospective on all of them. So if you're new here, I am Big Daddy Top Hat, Top Hat Gaming Man, so make sure you check them out. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe as I produce lots of videos on beat-em-ups, fighting games and more. Cheerio.